On Monday, Dr Hilary and I, as you know, launched our new campaign, March for Your Mind, which is all about how walking and exercise can help our mental health. And of course, our dogs can play a big part in that. That's true for Kate Middleton's brother, James, who's been talking in the past about his own struggles with mental health. He's been talking about the way his dogs have helped him. Dogs mean a huge amount to me, and I think without my dogs, I wouldn't be having the confidence to actually be speaking and sat here now. And so I could go as far as saying that dogs have saved my life, and they are just incredible companions that go further than sometimes humans can in, um, in way of rehabilitation. So I'm here today to meet the finalists from the Friends for Life competition. There are hundreds of applicants, and the last five finalists are here. Dogs are just incredible and heroes in our lives, and I think they are unsung heroes. My own dogs have given me such a huge sort of lease of life, and dogs really do change lives and save lives. Well, James isn't alone. Dr Amir Khan is live in Bristol for us now with a group called Dudes and Dogs. Dudes and Dogs, Amir. <laughs> it's so good to see you. This is such a fantastic <laughs> idea because just walking about, either with or with your, without your dog, is, is great for us all, isn't it? Yes, morning, Lorraine. Yes, talking about and being outside is great for your mental health. It's so important. As a GP, I see patients every single day with mental health issues. Uh, and I do tell them if they can, go outdoors for a walk just for a few minutes every day. It gets the endorphins going. It just makes you feel so much better. It's great for your mental well-being. And that's what the group I'm with today is all about. Dudes and dogs. They get men together with their dogs out for walks. But more importantly, talking about their mental health as well. I'm joined by their founder, Rob Osman, and his lovely dog, Mally. Uh, Rob, tell me, why did you set up this group? Morning, yeah, I, well, I set the group up basically because I realised what had been good for me could be good for others. Mm. Uh, it, it's no secret to anyone who's, who's sort of seen any of the videos we make. I, I suffered through my teens and early 20s with a bit of anxiety and depression, and I tried various things to control and manage that, and yeah. some worked more than others. But it wasn't until I was actually out with my dog, I realised just how beneficial that time was with her. If It doesn't matter the weather, it doesn't matter my mood, she has to go out, Yeah, you know? And, and that made me go out into the fresh air. And it's no secret, like you said, fresh air is good for you, walking yes. is good for you, talking is good for you. And that's what she's provided. And it, it very quickly became apparent that when I was reaching out to my mates, I wasn't saying, let's go to the pub. I was saying, come on, let's go for a walk. Because that ability to walk side by side, yeah. and not look straight in the eye that some blokes aren't good at, maybe look at their feet, it opens people up in a different yeah. way. And it was what helped me. Fantastic, and you mentioned some blokes are not good at that. Yeah. Tell me uh, why it's important for men specifically to come out and talk about yeah, their uh, mental health. Look, it, I, I, we are on a crest of a wave with uh, men to open up a bit more about their mental health and mm. talking about it, which is fantastic, but a lot more needs to be done. Yeah. And instead of relying on the NHS, which is understaffed and under-resourced, I believe it's down to us to help each other out. And there's loads of good talking groups, men's groups out there. Uh, there's one in Bristol Talk Club that are doing similar things or going out and changing the dialect. And that's what we're doing with Dudes and Dogs. We're just encouraging you to get out and change that dialogue now while the conversation is relevant to people. Yeah, it's such a fantastic resource. I know men struggle talking to me about the mental health when they come and see me. Yeah, right. It's called Dudes and Dogs. Do you need a dog to come? No, that's, that's the beauty of it. I mean, I think everyone bar one or two here has actually got a dog. But no, we, the, the, we have what's called a dog dude who are leading the walks. OK. They are going to be trained to, uh, to lead those walks and they will bring the dog. All you need to bring is yourself and a willingness to go for a walk and a Great. talk. And if you don't want to talk, you can still listen. Fantastic. So all men are welcome. Absolutely. Absolutely. 100 percent. That's really good. Great. Oh, thank you. And so, you've also... Lorraine, uh, yeah. We are joined. Oh. <laughs> yes. Well, Hello, Angus. I've got <laughs> Angus here and he's been, he's been very excited by all these dogs walking. And I know you've got ex-Marine oh. Tony with you as well. Um, Tony, is Tony there? I was just wondering whether how Tony could manage to get involved in this. Hi, Tony. How are you doing? Hi, Lorraine. Hello, love. I know yeah, I'm good, thank you. Uh, you were in the Marines for how many years? About 23 years you were in the Marines. Yeah, yeah. as a former uh, warrant officer, I'd served uh, 23 years, uh, left in uh, 2013. So how important is the group to you then, Tony? How, how, what difference has it made to your life? OK, from, from a personal view, um, obviously I've seen a, a, an increase uh, of mental health issues from former uh, uh, colleagues in the armed forces. Uh, and on a personal note to me, uh, I've lost more colleagues to suicide uh, from Afghanistan that were actually killed, killed in action. So uh, the dudes and dogs 
uh, for me uh, and helping others is, a, is an easy form of uh, medicine that's accessible to, to everyone. No, it's a brilliant thing, Tony. It really is. And I know it's life changing for you guys. Yeah. Dr. Amir, thanks so, so much. And Rob and Tony, of course, and all of this amazing, amazing group of men. I would love to see this throughout the whole country. I think it's a fantastic, fantastic idea. It really is. I know taking this one out for a walk just makes me feel so much better. It just clears your head and you feel great, don't you? Mwah! As ever, there's loads of advice and helplines, of course, on our website. Tomorrow, Frankie Bridge from the Saturdays is going to be here. She's going to be talking about her own struggles with mental health. She's been really open about all of that and it really does help people a lot. Enjoyed that video? Then I think this next one will be right up your street. Or head to our homepage to discover more.